Walk me through the first time you met him, where he walks in the door, and that's LeBron James. Oh. You're about to act with him in, in Trainwreck. Oh, and Train. I had met him before on Saturday Night Live. Yeah. Okay. And Judd Apatow was kind of. He called me and said, "What if?" And we cast Vanessa Bear as Amy Schumer's best friend, and you're a sports doctor. What if LeBron James was your best friend? You know, <laughs> like, you know, Bruno Kirby was, you know, Billy Crystal's best friend. And when Harry met Sally, what if LeBron James? And I was like, oh, that's hilarious. And I go, and I go, he's really funny. And he's on SNL. It was effortless. And he kind of gravitated to the weirder, more esoteric stuff mm -hmm. than the kind of easy laugh or i mean I, i'm saying he just had a really good sense of humor yeah a lot of his lines were, he he underplayed it yeah in train wreck like he did he wasn't over the top it was kind of like he went the other way with it he, and he it really picked worked up on like what other people were doing and just can do it he it, it's not fair basically <laughs> yeah. he was really funny and he yes. a lot of that was his stuff and then one day when we were shooting the, the <laughs> scene we play one-on-one -on -one with each other yeah. he chris rock was on set that day and so Chris Rock threw out, like, oh, what if you said a thing about the whole thing about you can't get her pregnant because he has a long run about you get her pregnant and then she's going to want you to buy her a nail salon and you know, all this stuff. Right. And uh, he threw that out during the cameras are rolling. And LeBron repeated it, like, did it word perfect. Like one and take, you mean? One take. Did it word perfect. And I just was sitting there watching this, like, this stinks. I was <laughs> yeah, like, right. I can't do that. None of my friends could do that. Now, did you, I, did you attempt to score on him? I did score on him. They have footage of it someplace on the DVD. I did legitimately. I mean, I think he also was like, didn't want to hurt himself on a movie. So he wasn't okay. going 100%. <laughs> but these but, guys normally, I mean, people like LeBron, they they have a certain pride factor that they're Instead not of going be... outside, I went inside on a yeah, layup. Yeah, what I move? Used, what move did I you do? I did a layup. I, was, I kept going outside and he would keep hitting me. And then Judd just went, Bill, go for a layup quick. LeBron, destroy him. That was the kind of, <laughs> that was the. <laughs> that was the direction. <laughs> that was the direction. <laughs> Bill, go for a layup. LeBron, kill him. You know? <laughs> and, then I would, <laughs> and then one time, instead of going out, I went inside and I, I made it. And then I ruined the take because I looked in the camera and went, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and everybody was like, oh, no. And I was like, oh, oh, my God. You know. Yeah, but that's one of those moments where you have to ruin the take. Yeah. Oh, my God. I called my wife. I was like, cut the camera, cut the camera. <laughs> now, did you, Whatever, did like, it go, did it, did you scoop it in off glass? Did it go yeah, off? Yeah, it went uh, off glass. It's on the DVD. Okay. Have, I have not seen that extra. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. No one, maybe the LeBron camp's trying to just suppress that. Maybe maybe they just don't want it out that there. That makes sense. That I scored on him once. No. That absolutely Jason makes sense. Jason Sudeikis scored on him once. We were doing a sketch in SNL, and he legitimately did a fadeaway, and LeBron was trying to block him, and it went in, and we all, like, everyone went banana. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.